It's another mask story time. Here we go. Four foolproof ways on how to get out of wearing a mask while inside of a building. This is basically going to be your get out of jail free card. <laughs> yes. Um, we're going to break it down into four simple digestible steps. And things you need to know in order to go um, and have your freedoms back wherever you go. So let's get into it. Welcome to Unleashed with the Patriot Sisters. Buckle up, girl, because we're about to spill that tea just like we did in 1773. We light the fire under all things politics. And don't worry, social justice warriors, we're light the fire underneath you too. Why? Because we're inclusive. Prepare to be triggered. Before we get started, we want to preface this. These things will not work at a couple of places, and they are as follows. Disney, Universal, uh, big companies like Costco or Sephora. Sephora. Oh gosh, don't do Sephora. I mean, if you want to, you, it's more. You're more you welcome know? to try, but we tried and it did not work. I want you to try. Actually, let me know. Yeah, if you want. Sephora is actually. We made a video at Sephora, mm -hmm. and that's what actually kick started us getting kicked out of the church we went to at the time. That's yeah. what the first video they saw of us. <laughs> and granted, we were a little hyped up, but we didn't do anything wrong. No. It was very chill. It was actually, we were, I was surprised. I know. I'm always surprised, but I was like really surprised. Anyway, so there are, cur there are certain stores that just we have found to be no-goes. No-goes. And Disney's definitely on the top of our list. Right. You can't fight Disney. Usually, not with, right now, at least. Usually, when they become, especially Disney or Universal, a billion dollar company, um, you will not win. Um, we've tried it at Disney slightly, but they will ban you for life, and that's just not something we are willing to put on our record. There, um, um, if you want to put that on your record, try and go to Disney and don't wear a mask because they have no problem banning people. Personally, I don't want to be banned, so I am not going to do that. Put myself in that situation. And there's no shame, by the way. If you're in the same boat as me, but you also don't wear masks at other stores, there's no shame in that. Mm -hmm. So let's get that straight. Okay, now that we mm -hmm. prefaced it, let's get into our four steps. All right, option or foolproof tip number one, know the policy. Back in 2020, that was my job as a family when we went out. Yes. I would research the policy <laughs> of the store we were going to. That's always on their website. Just Google their name and then mask policy um, and it will show up. Really simple. So before you go, is it a government, like a federal building? Is it a government building? Is it state? Is it a locally run building? Like who owns the building? Because that also, especially when it's a government building, that's going to really help you figure out where you stand when it comes to wearing a mask and what you're able to do versus what you're not able to do. It's also really important to understand if it's federally um, run buildings, which there are less in each state, more right. of their state or locally run. Just really look it up and read. Don't just read like a blog about it. No. Like actually read it. There's all in almost every single state. Yes, even California, there is a medical exemption. Yes. Clause. If you um, and claim it. If you happen to fall into that medical exemption, which you all do because masks do inhibit your breathing on a cellular level, whether you notice it or not. So I'll, I'm not going to say what you can and cannot do with that, but now you have the facts. So And use your free thinking will uh -huh. and mind. Be a free thinker. And figure it out. Think about that. Ponder it. Okay. We didn't say anything. You can go about as you wish. But what happens if you walk into a mom and pop shop oh. and may not have a policy on a website mm -hmm. or they probably have a please wear a mask or masks are required on their store? Does that mean you actually have to wear one? Uh, that, okay, so here's the thing. When it comes to mom and pop shops, you definitely have more free reign because... I can almost 100%. Oh, always walk into a mom and pop shop. And be fine. Which, for those that don't know what that phrase means, a mom and pop shop basically is a shop that's... Locally owned. Family owned. So, you know, the chances of you following and walking into a store that is owned by a conservative, depending on the state you're in, high. Here in Florida, mom and pop shops, pretty high. You're pretty much good to go. Texas, you're pretty much good to go. Uh, yeah. California, anyway. you it, never it, know. It, it, it's a, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But even if they have a requirement on, this, on the door... 
Um, you, the, employees are probably not going to say anything in a mom and pop shop, especially in April of 2021. People don't care. really aren't saying anything to us anymore. And if they do, all we simply say is we have a medical exemption, but thank you. And, move and we on. move on and we never, ever have an issue. So go try it. Let us know. Send us a message at unleashed.podcast or an email at the Patriot sisters at gmail.com. Mm-hmm. We want to hear your stories, hear how it's going for you. So also real fast before we jump into full proof foolproof tip number two um with knowing your policy the first tip when it comes to chained stores like target or even ulta walmart walmart marshall's lowe's hobby lobby oh lowe's is good you're good to go yeah honestly though those stores you just and this is going to tie into our second tip you just have to do it which goes mm-hmm. to foolproof tip number two, walk in with, with confidence. confidence. Also, something we say is act confident and nobody will question you. That has never been more true today. If you yeah. act like you don't have to wear one and you're good and you're confident not wearing one, because it's honestly a little scary mm-hmm. and being the only one with the free face. But the more you do it, the more you're, you're comfortable with it. Mm-hmm. But in the beginning, what do you got to do? You, I don't want you to be sketchy with your eyes and looking around like, act confident. Be like the good old days, um, 2019, 2019. <laughs> um, and which is a hint, hint on some future Ooh. things we have coming. And and act confident. Don't be sketchy. Go in for what you're going to do. Talk to the people. If you would normally say when you walk in to an employee, would normally say hello, say hello. But keep on walking. Don't stop. Don't also pro tip. Don't meander around. Just in the beginning, because here's the thing for there. Okay. For our local target, for example, in the beginning, when we would go and like do our target runs, we would not meander around. We would walk in with the purpose with, with mm-hmm. you know, go get straight, in and get out, get in and get out straight to business, no play room. But because we continued doing that, we started making like connections with the employees. They started seeing her face now. And now we have no problem. We don't need to. Do you know what that means? What? We go to stores too much. Yeah, that's Which true. we really don't. We're not big shoppers. We're really not. We just buy like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the point is now we can meander. Now we can actually do what 2019, the good old days shopping look like. So you got to take it bit by bit. Be patient. You'll get there. Um, yeah, but don't be sketching the eyes. Don't meander in the beginning. Act confident and no one will question you. Mm-hmm. And also avoid confrontation if an employee tries to like say something Come at you because they might they might again it is what it is just say i have a medical exemption thank you so much and keep on walking the key is do not stop to have a conversation with them Ooh, you don't have time to have a car tip number three. Oh, you're jumping into it oh you ready okay well no no it's good i'm saying like we're gonna like we're gonna <laughs> okay go roll into it uh, so tip number it. three is key some key phrases that you need to probably have in your back pocket Right. Oh, I used no, to write no, these no, no. on our phone. What? That's four. You're no, <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's yeah. No, I'm, I'm gonna take okay. it real fast. <laughs> tip foolproof. Foolproof tip number three is keep your heart rate low because chances are even if you walk into a store in the beginning acting confident, you know you're ready. You're you know what you're doing. You're there on business. Mm-hmm. The chances of an employee in the beginning stopping you are still high. Pretty, pretty darn high. So what do you do? You keep your heart rate low. Why do I say that? I heard this from... Because you told me this. Yeah, back in 2020. Quarantine last year, like beginning. I think I heard it from Isabel Brown, maybe. And she said that Charlie Kirk had told her this. Mm -hmm. And Isabel is part of Turning Turning Point Point USA. She's amazing. Um, and I think, I feel like it was somebody from that area that told me this, but essentially if you're, you're going to have confrontation at some point when you go out, whether that's from try to avoid it, but it's going to happen, cause less commotion. But if it happens, it happens. It's either going to come from an employee or it's going to come from somebody else, a patron in the store. Mm -hmm. You will get the snide comments. You will be coughed on. You will be laughed at. The people will give you rolling of their eyes and shake their head flip you off like it doesn't we get we've gotten it all swear at you okay like if we, it's, we've gotten people coughing on us like you <laughs> you pre-2019 or 2020 you you that's nasty um and 
And when so it's be another, prepared. When it's another patron, please just ignore them. But if yeah. it's an employee, you can just smile and 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 if they if they roll their eyes, ignore anybody. If it's an employee talking to you, mm-hmm. um, we're getting to some key phrases um, on what you can say back to get out of it. Um, but keep your heart rate low. Pre- and we say but mentally that, prepare that. Yeah, mentally mentally prepare. And but well, yeah, we say keep your heart rate low because as long as your heart rate not even low. Keep it just lower Calm. than the person you're talking to. Yeah. Because if both of you, okay, so if Izzy's heart rate, she's the manager. Okay. Okay. So come at me. So I'm I'm walking up to you. You don't have a mask on. Uh, my heart rate, whether I'm an, a manager. Oh my gosh, employee, my heart just got up. Yeah, I got it, nervous. Exactly. See, that's the thing. Automatically, your heart's gonna go up. Now, as the person, which would be me, the employee, as that role in this situation, because I'm approaching you, if without me. Nothing would happen. So I'm the uh, the Initi- instigator. Yeah. Okay. The initiator. Uh, so my heart rate's gonna jump up. I'm a I'm a little be, I'm gonna be a little nervous, Nelly, over here. I might have some anxiety, shake, which they has shake. happened. They it's shake. it's really honestly I feel bad because I'm like I don't want to cause you have to have anxiety, but at the same time that is not on me. That is on you because you approached me. Anyway, so basically, my who, heart rate's high. You want to keep your heart rate lower than mine. Because whoever has the lowest heart rate will always, I'm going to use the word win, will always have the most level headed because be oxygen is getting to your brain faster than somebody who has a little bit higher heart mm-hmm. rate. And that's going to be great. Use this if you're ever in a debate with somebody. Any situation, just keep your heart rate. It doesn't even have to be like super low and normal, just lower than the person you're talking with. And you do that by mentally preparing for some sort of confrontation, but if you don't like confrontation, and I before actually, you go inside, yeah. and then slow, deep breaths even I, I actually have to tell myself, hey, slow down. Like, Yeah, and it works. <sighs> Sometimes by, I have to do that. And it works by talking slow during mid-conversation. Yeah. You have to slow down. Because if you words. start talking really fast, like, I have a medical exemption, and this isn't and law. Just, like, this is a mandate. It's not a law. It's a constitution. Okay? No. You're going to throw up on them with your words, and it's going to cause your heart rate to hijack, or hijack, to go up. They're going to freak out and go up, and it's not going to be cute. Right. Okay, we got to look cute while we do this. I'm just kidding. All right, number okay. four, which is apparently I jumped to earlier. Key phrases to use. Wow, we have plenty of phrases. Why do we have so many phrases? Because we were one of the first, I, th- I don't even know, what is it, June? I mean, probably June, early June, or maybe June, July, whatever. June, July, I keep saying a bunch of, we'll just go with June. Okay, sometime <laughs> last June summer. June 2020. We were host, not hosting, but we were partaking in maskless walk-ins in our local area in Texas. Yes. Um, and we were like the first people to like ever really do that that I heard of. So because we've been doing this for coming up on a year now, we have collected quite the list. Of things of, that work and don't work. Yeah. So here are some key phrases that you'll want to keep in your back pocket. Go ahead and get out that phone or or paper, whatever's near you. Write these down because these will be golden. They will help you so much because I've helped us. So, um, okay. So who, so who wants to be the manager? I'll be the manager. You be the manager. So we're going to go briefly over some top key phrases that we found to work. I have them. The reason why I'm looking down for those that are watching right now is because I have my notes and I want to make sure we, I um, am doing this right. Otherwise, we so, would talk for. Otherwise, we're talking a lot, and that's just you know. So, I when wa- you're first approach, employees usually ask, "Hey, excuse me, do you have a mask with you?" Now, this is what I want you to do. Quick commercial break, you guys. We launched an appeal to heaven necklaces. You asked for conservative jewelry with a meaning, and we delivered. <laughs> so head over to the patriotsisters.org slash shop to grab yours. You guys, now more than ever, we need to make an appeal to heaven. We need God's help. Yeah. We need his intervention. But what's happening in this country? Because it's driving me bonkers. Me too. So with that being said, head over to the patriotsisters.org slash shop. Grab yourself a bundle necklace, even one of our uh, single necklaces, the dainty pine tree necklace or the an appeal bar necklace. Grab one. There's a little prayer uh, card that comes in your delivery shipment. We'll send a little personalized note to you. Pray with you. And um, you know what? Let's take our country back together. Respond, but never stop walking. Why do I say that? The moment you stop to talk and, and stop walking is to the moment. engage. Is the moment 
they have you. But so if you speak. keep, but if I don't get it, there's probably some psychology behind it. But we have found the moment we stop, we always lose. You keep on walking. And if they want to talk more, they trust can me, follow you. They will follow you. <laughs> and they will. So when they say, oh, excuse me, do you have a mask with you? Oh, no, no, I, I don't. But thanks. Keep on walking. Don't stop. That's all. Oh, oh, well, we, we actually have some extras up at the front. Would you, would you like one? Oh my gosh, you're so sweet. I'm good. Thank you though. Walk. Don't stop. <laughs> okay. Okay. And they will react in one of two ways. They will either be completely confused, confused and not know what to say. And they would just kind of like look at you as you walk away and you would like, don't look back. Just you, look forward yeah, and yeah. you keep walking. Or um, they will say, you can't come in if you don't have a mask. It's store policy or it's the law. We hear that a lot. It's not the Please. law. Please. Uh, where? Where are you from? Calming California? It's not a law. Even then. It's not a law. It's not a law. It's a mandate. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so. They, they, it's you, the law. <laughs> it's a mandate. <laughs> There's a whole story behind that. It's really funny with a friend. When we were in Washington, D.C. before the election. Oh, my gosh. With Chick-fil-A. It's. Mm -mm. so funny (laughs) so freaking funny our friend at the time who came to dc with us when we did the whole flag flag drop drop in dc and we were in we were so hungry because we were working and we're like you know what let's just go to chick-fil-a so we are it's god's chicken we went to chick-fil-a and um they were super strict no we couldn't sit down and like we um we had a big order and so they brought some of the stuff out and so i started eating it i was like like, half an order was there it's been over 15 minutes i'm gonna eat my waffle fries so we're standing where the tables would be we met some people our age from michigan college students we start chatting with them because they're like this is bullcrap and you know whatever casual conversation and And the the, the, guy comes out and he looks at looks at us and he goes you have to put a mask on and you can't eat in here. And stop talking to those people beside you. And he goes, it's the law. And our friend. Who hadn't been super vocal. But like-minded. But she's not. She let us do it, the talking. Which is fair. She looks at him and yells, it's a mandate. And we both look at her and we're like, what? where did that come from? Where did that, like, I love it. That confidence. Yes, queen. Like, <laughs> I'm all for that. <laughs> now it's a joke. We say a lot. Okay. That was a total tangent. See, this is what you're going to get on Unleashed with the Patriot Sisters. We're, we're going to get these fun little stories. Okay. So one of two ways they respond, either they're confused and they let you walk or two, they say, oh, I'm sorry, but you can't come inside the store. I'm going to have to ask you to leave if you won't put a mask on. And what would you say back to that? Um, if they say that, I say, um, what makes you say that or by whose order? Now, this is the key part. I'm going to highlight it real fast. Okay. You want to say, oh, what makes you say that? Not why are you saying that? Because why? This is some psychology for those that want to know the details. When I say why, like I'm asking a question and I say, oh, why do you think that? Or why do you say that? I'm going to... The word why is going to get an emotional response from the person I'm talking to. Mm -hmm. Now, what happens if I say the word what instead? It causes them to not answer out of an emotional response, but rather out of facts. Um, Unless they're really confused and then they just go, uh, and then you walk away. Yeah. (laughs) So why do we want a factual response though? Because we want, we want the truth. We We don't want want the truth. What, What we want them to do is give us the policy they're working off of. Right. And so why do we want the policy? Oh, wow. Full proof, full proof number one, back to the beginning. If it's a store policy, you already know what their policy is. And, and so, so you know, oh, what most people don't realize is that yes, in a, in 99% of stores, masks are required. Mm-hmm. But if you read the policy, it's required for employees. It's suggested for, for page, customers or customers right or highly recommended which is not required it's not required so and a lot of the employees don't actually know have even read the policy so step number one when you do that you begin you get so much information and so much knowledge and you're you already have the upper hand in the situation before exactly. you walk in that should give you more confidence yeah so know your policy see where you fall into that policy you know whatever anyway so here's the thing <laughs> Um, they'll try explaining it after you say, oh, the policy, blah, 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 blah. And then because you've done your homework right, if you've done it right, you'll be like, oh, thank you, but. And then you go into what you need to say briefly. You don't need to elongate none, nothing because that's to the point. Whatever. And the more genuine and honestly, we're doing this respectful. They're just employees making minimum wage. They're, they don't want to even say like, 
I kind of find this to work sometimes when you run into someone. You be like, and this is coming from a, don't fake it. Like, if you don't want to say this, don't say it. But I genuinely, we genuinely mean it when we're like, oh, I I don't want to get you in trouble. I don't want you to lose your job. Like, I don't want them to lose their job over something so petty like this from their higher ups. Right. So be genuine. You can even say that to them and they'll calm down. It happens to us. Unless you're talking to the manager at Jaren Fabrics who is 100% <laughs> liberal and says she, her on her pin. Oh, girl. You're not going to win. Uh-uh. You just got to go down with the fight or play around or, or leave. get banned for life like I did. So if they say it's store policy, you have your facts and you can combat that however is a uh, mm-hmm. acceptable for mm-hmm. that store. If they say it's the law, no, it's not a law. It's actually a mandate. They're two different things. Um, I need you to make... I'm talking to those listening now. Yeah. I need you to research your local state and government authorities, what they are saying. I guarantee it's not a law anywhere. It's mm-hmm. a mandate or it's an executive order, which isn't even technically a law. And especially here in the state of Florida, you cannot be arrested or fined or anything by law mm-hmm. for not wearing a mask, even in private property. So, um, so yeah, look be into genuine, that and be genuine about it. Show respect, please. And if they say there, a lot of them will say we're just following the local ordinance. Be like, um, perfect. There's a medical exemption. I fall directly under that. But thank you so much. Yeah. I so appreciate you looking out for me. We're both following it. That's great. Good news. <laughs> we're on the same team. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Which is true. Which is true. Um, Now, sometimes you're going to find those crazy liberal triggered blue hair chicks or dudes that are going to push back harder because Mm -hmm. they, even after you say, oh, I have an exemption and usually at this point you're good to go. Um, But sometimes they're going to push back harder. And if that's the case, do not lose hope. Okay. Because sometimes you're still able to get through. Now, you can push back. You might get banned. They might call the cops. And That's, you have to be willing. And you have to be willing. And if the cops, if they call the cops and you know they are, you get out and leave before the cops show up. Leave. And this isn't just from personal experience. This we is... have family who is in for law enforcement mm-hmm. and they were like, they looked at us and they said, would you just leave before we show up? Not just You that, can do that. But like, like non-family members, stranger cops, when they're called on me, okay, for example, Joe and Fabrics, that cop, he was like, if you would have just walked out of the store a little bit faster, I would never have stopped you because you were off property. And by that time, there's nothing I can do. Because by law... They told me to walk faster. By law in the United so States, faster. you can't be arrested for not wearing a mask. Where stores will get you and where you can be held accountable mm-hmm. is when stores call, claim the trespassing, which is private property and they can claim you're trespassing. Which actually is a whole lot of civil yeah. lawsuits that could be come from that because they are technically discriminating. But that's another conversation. So, anyways, we're off a little off one, topic. One but. last thing I want to leave you guys before we finish and kind of wrap up this podcast episode. Um, if there's one final thing, little tidbit we can give you is to always and keep this in the forefront of your mind. Always put the ball back in their court. There being the store, the manager, the employee, whoever it is you're talking to. Because you're the customer. This is not your problem. They came to you with what they're saying. Like, oh, you need to wear a mask, whatever. They came to you. You never went to them first. Mm -hmm. So don't, and they'll try to like flip it on you, make you feel like you're the problem. That is not not the case. You are not the problem. So if that ever happens to you and all, you tried all the steps that we did. And they're still not doing it. And the cops are not involved at this point, right? Because you're first off, you wouldn't be there if they were involved. You would have <laughs> left by then. If you listen to this properly, you could always end the conversation or the last final resort by putting the ball back in the court and say, okay, so what would you like to do about this? Because I need to go get XYZ products. And honestly, a lot of the time, they will make some, they will bend over backwards, backwards. for you. Meaning, Especially when you're doing this all out of kindness, love, and genuine. And either they like, bring the products yeah. to you. They We've even had stores set up specific open early for us. And we can have the whole store to ourselves to shop. Mm-hmm. Which actually is annoying, kind of. But like but at the same trying. time, it's nice. They're trying. And that's that's fair. Have the whole store to myself. Yes, please. Fresh inventory. Yes, yes please. please. So those are basically our tips. Um, yeah, so... That's that was our four foolproof ways of how to not wear a mask inside of a building. And I want you to understand one last thing, and I promise this is the one last thing, <laughs> at least for me, it may not be for Izzy. But 
know that you don't even if you don't aren't able to get in and go shopping mm. maskless yeah even if you're there making a stand for truth fighting back with truth and standing tall people are watching and i can't tell you how oh many times gosh. we've had people come to us and say thank you for standing up because i don't have the guts to but seeing that you are doing it has given me a little bit of hope and has allowed me to want to stand up a little bit more and may not look like how we're standing up right now but it gives them the kind of little push that they they need Mm -hmm. even walking around the store without anything on all the time we'll see people people, they're take it off when they look at us they're encouraged seeing you holding the line so we need you to be a bunch of patriotic conservative Mm -hmm. leaders in this country because a majority of people actually aren't natural born leaders it's really hard yeah they're followers and right now they're following whatever someone says in front of them so be the leader rise up stand tall and fight Fight back back with with truth truth. okay um that was yeah that was it listen i am one last thing a little not how many times have we said that this is really it then i'm cutting her off numbers speak and volumes so grab here's one thing don't go out looking for trouble yeah don't do that because you are going to find trouble and you're going to in the end hate it sometimes what we we'll actually do is we go through phases depending on what the media is saying of a lot of uh struggles and mm-hmm. pushback is we will pray like god please hide us yeah. from anybody who may be triggered from us not wearing one like hide us don't mm-hmm. let us be seen by the employees in that way and, and it works and it works pray for that hedge of protection mm-hmm. so your defeat or victory and i'm gonna read this because i wrote this down i really want to say it because i think it whatever anyway so listen um your defeat or victory doesn't define you but your action of trying does and if you want to try and fight back with truth always remember that you just need to do it just try one time is perfectly fine if that's all you want to do just try because trying is there there's power in the try not power in the end result because the experiences of victory are is the journey it's the little things that you gain along the way not the end result that defines you so if you can't go in if you if you if you go in and you're you're not you didn't get the result you looked for you didn't fail yeah that's not that's not the point the point is is that you tried and that other people saw you trying and that speaks volume so okay and really life am in, done and <laughs> life in general is same thing it's not about the end results even this account like i am flabbergasted that we are at almost twenty thousand oh people who have joined us and that what? we actually <laughs> you guys see us in public and people actually know who we are and that's just it mind, not even that big. It mind boggles me. But that, the whole number on Instagram, which is what a lot of people think the goal would be, or finally getting the swipe up when you hit 10,000. That just like, makes things convenient. That's, <laughs> that's it. Like, people think that's the end result. When I get this, that's great. Oh, when I get a paid speaking engagement, oh, that's it. No, what makes it for us is when we see you guys along the way. Mm-hmm. When we get the messages saying, you guys inspired stories. me to oh do X, Y, Z. Like I love that's them. the journey, and that's what makes it successful for us. Not and worth it. The number, or even really being ne- recognized, it's just meeting individuals. Why? Because it's not the end results that matter, but, but the, the experiences, experiences you gained along, along the way. way. So, with that being said, make sure you're continually rising up, standing tall, and fighting back with truth. As always, we'll see you in the next one. Mm-hmm.